Pitmaster here, Eddie Wright, and there's no better time for barbecue than right now. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do something that we got inspired by from our guy outdoors with Jeff. He's been doing a sheet pan series, so what we're gonna do is put together our own series using party pans, half catering pans and full catering pans. With that being said, today's recipe is gonna be party pan drumstick lollipops using Elk Creek Hog Knuckle Rub, the Green Mountain Grill, and pecan pellets. Let's get to it. Drumsticks are a very fun item we like to cook here. We haven't cooked them in a very long while, but given the cost of proteins, we're also here to show you how you can use small cuts of meat at a very low cost and make an amazing recipe. So we're gonna take some drumsticks, form them up in the lollipops, season them up, rub them up, throw a little butter in the pan, smoke them over pecan wood on the Green Mountain Grill, sauce them up just lightly so we don't rule out that amazing job that we did with the rub and the smoke. And then we're gonna let you guys see the end product. That being said, let's party. All right, we've got our pan pretty much prepped and ready to go. We've got the skin pulled back because what we're gonna do on the seasoning element of it, we're gonna season the meat, then we're gonna pull the skin down over the drums, and then we're gonna season the skin as well. That way we've got a double layer of seasoning when the customer bites into it. So let's get to it. Break out our Elk Creek hog knuckle, and we get the party started. Yep. All right, season is done. We're gonna arrange these in the pan to make as many of them fit as uniformly as possible because we're just gonna cook them in the pan. That's why it's called a party pan. Halfway through the cook process, we're gonna show you, we're gonna turn them over so they can most definitely get another coat of smoke on the opposite side and finish rendering. All right, we've got 11 of the 12 to fit pretty uniformly. We're gonna keep this one here. We're just gonna throw it on the grill by itself. From there, we're gonna get this on the pit, 225 for about 30 minutes. Then we're gonna bump it up, 295, and let it roll smoke all the way out. The GMG is rolling smoke. Phase one is going. We're gonna pull our pan out. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of the good stuff. A little bit of parquet, just right across the top. Get it back into the smoker. We're gonna let it ride. We'll be back. A few moments later. Checking back in on the Green Mountains, roll of smoke. We're about 275 in. We've turned our leg in our party pan. We're gonna go ahead and cover here in a second. Go ahead and speed up that temperization process. We're gonna cover with a little foil here in a little bit. Let that roll a little bit more, then we're gonna glaze it with a little bit of sauce. That's gonna be the end. I cannot wait for you guys to see the finished product. Moments later. All right, back at it. We're gonna go ahead and get our sauce game going. We're gonna pull our pan out. Just lightly glaze over it. We're not gonna paint it on, we're just gonna drizzle it. As you can see, we have one of our finished party pan drumstick lollipops. Looks amazing. We're gonna go ahead and open the pan and let you guys see the pan as well because that one was outside the pan. An amazing finished product for us. Nice and on the cake. You take it, 
it with just a little bit more hog knuckle across the top just for beauty and that's what we call a finished product tune in next time for more amazing party pan episodes guys it's going to be a great series i can't wait to see you guys again make sure you like share and subscribe to everything we have going on with the channel can't wait to see you for the next episode my name is eddie wright and always remember you too can do amazing barbecue the right way see you next time